This uncirculated 5 cent was sold for over $25,000 at auction. This is 1943D Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 68 Plus with full steps. Full steps refer to the details found on the steps of Monticello on reverse side of a coin. These steps should be fully struck and visible. The 1943D Jefferson Nickel full steps is considered a rare coin because only tiny amount of examples were struck with full steps. This is mostly due to the fact that the dies used to strike these coins were heavily worn out. As a result, the coins that were struck after the dies became worn did not have full steps. The 1943D Jefferson Nickel is not particularly rare in terms of mintage numbers, but finding one in MS68 plus condition is a challenge. Attractive toning also adds up to overall value. So these gems ended up selling for $25,562.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1970s Lincoln Cent in PR69 red condition, highly elusive small date variety. Comes with deep cameo feature which indicates a stark contrast between mirror-like fields and frosty devices. Superb specimen with almost perfect strike and preservation detail lacking just one point for absolute perfection. PCGS population is comprised of only three specimens in this grade, including this gem. It was sold for $12,100 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1977D Kennedy of dollar in Mint State 62, an error of 50 cents struck on a 40% silver planchet. Rare transitional error. The expected weight of silver clad half is 11.50 grams and the standard weight of a copper nickel clad half dollar is 11.34 grams. San Francisco branch struck silver clad bicentennial halves and a small number of planchets intended for the issue were instead mixed in with the clad half dollar planchets and struck at the Denver mint. This brilliant and satiny example has a nice strike and good eye appeal. A small strike through is on the field near the mouse as a minor contact is noted west of the ear and the 9 in the date. It was sold for $7,800 at Heritage Auctions. Another error coin, this 1918D Buffalo Nickel struck on a Lincoln Sand Planchet, circulated coin in AU58 grade, a dramatic wrong planchet error. The obverse design of the nickel is fairly well centered on the sand planchet, while the reverse is more closely aligned with lower border. The date is bold and nearly complete, while the D mint mark is identifiable despite being a bit soft. Deeper copper rose patina overall with light cobalt blue providing further visual appeal. It was sold for $4,080 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1942 Jefferson Nickel in mint state 65 with full steps, popular D over horizontal D repunched mint mark variety. The mint mark was initially impressed in horizontal position and then corrected, creating the popular D over horizontal D variety. This issue is the most elusive major variety of the Jefferson Nickel series in mint state and always commands a steep premium on the rare occasions when one is offered. This one ended up selling for $28,200 at Heritage Auctions. This is 2000 p Sacagawea dollar in mint state 67 the highly elusive Cheerios reverse variety. The Sacagawea dollars used in the General Mills cereal promotion in 2000 were struck from a hub that showed fine detailing of the eagle's tail feathers, while all other Sacagawea dollars struck that year show smooth tail feathers. This superb gem example is sharp and beautifully preserved with brilliant golden luster. Moderate reflectivity is seen in the fields includes the 2000 Lincoln cent that accompanied it in the serial promotion. It was sold for $4920 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Take care.